Necesito agua, cabrones. Chun, 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 chun. Breaker, breaker one. Mondays, Mondays, Mondays. What? Okay, so. Did you guys see the thing here? Where, where? Okay, my baby, baby. What's going on, players? Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? How's it going out there? Just took a shower. How you guys like that? 170 logo, Cardinal. All these projects. Met the guy a couple times now. Very cool, humble guy. Actually, I need my glasses, man. I'm getting old up in this house. Give me one second here. I'll take you guys along for the walk. The tour. I'm not going off the regular equipment right now because we got it set up for a, for a live tomorrow. We will be live at 6, 6.30. We're going to have... The one and the only, super old Cholo, huh? Maybe that's you, carnal. I'm so, I'm fine like wine, huh, boy? Mm -mm. I was hearing the show you did with Angel Cortez. Yeah, that's a dope one, man. Angel's, a, Angel's actually a, a great interview, inspirational, and uh, he does his thing, man. So, mm -mm. Ta -ta -ta. What's up, Derek? How you doing, my man? Saludos de Costa Rica. That's what's good, man. That's what I'm talking about, homeboy. Huh, all the way in Costa Rica. We're taking this shit fucking worldwide. So, what's good, Cholo? Aquí nomás, man. It's Monday. You know, Monday's usually the hardest day of the week. ¿Cuál es el dilio, AC? David Rocha, a.k.a. Sir Dino. Yeah. So, David Rocha will be in studio tomorrow at uh, 6 p.m., 6.30 and uh, we should have a pretty good interview. I'm sure it's going to be a little different because we typically ask some questions that other people don't want to ask. And I got a couple questions for them that I don't want to say they're controversial questions, but, you know, it's going to be questions that, uh, that, that, that I want to hear from them. You know, that there's just certain, certain things that, that we need to speak about in, you know, an adult fashion and, uh, and see how that goes. And I think it'll go very well. Uh, I spoke to the guy on the phone already. Uh, Seems like a great guy. I've seen a couple of his interviews, so uh, it's going down, man. Good seeing you on Saturday. Hey, Carlos, man. Not for nothing, homie. That shit was dope, homeboy. Uh, Long Beach Carlos in the building. That was dope, Carlos, man. Getting all those people together. It was cracking. It was live. I got nothing but love from the homies from the Long Beach, homie. It's said LB, carnal. Um, one thing I realized at the event that you threw, Carlos, is that Haters only exist in the comment section, good man. Straight up, haters only exist in the comment section. Because from going to Urbicon, from going to the, the Long Beach Convention Center when they did that, um, the Lowrider show where I saw you as well, where I, when I went to your event on Saturday, hey, homie, nothing but love from everybody. I had guys coming to our booth just to come through and say, hey, Gil, you know what, homie? Respect. I love what you're doing, man. Keep it up. And I mean, that went on time and time again as I was walking by. All the hint, they were just, hey, homie, nothing but love, man. I respect what you're doing. So that's where I realized. I said, man, you know what? I'm still waiting for one of these fucking trolls to come through and tell me something, you know? Because people always want to talk shit on the comment section on me. And I'm like, why don't you come through and tell me something? All you lames that talk your shit. I'm like, you know, I was like, you're hoping to see one one day. And it's like, you know what? Nah, they don't exist, homie. Trolls only exist in the comment section, homie. That's it, carnal. But in the real world, you're out there. Those trolls are probably your biggest fans, man. Maybe one of those guys that says, hey, Gil, I love your shit. Is going home at the end and talking shit about me. But it's, it is what it is, homeboy. Ah. Haters equals progress. That's what it is. Yeah, sir. Dino will be in the building, man. So, yeah. Hey, for reals, Carlos. Uh, next year, homie, I'll be there. Whether this is going or not, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, you got my number. If not, I'll shoot it to you, and then I'll, I'll definitely be there next year, man. Like a lot of times, even like I said, even if I take off from this YouTube thing, man, I'm still gonna go out there. I'm still gonna support all you guys. I'm still gonna be, you know, 
I'm still going to be out there in the community, you know, chopping it up and hopefully trying to get some good stuff done, man. I just, you know, it takes a lot of energy to do this stuff. Some people just don't want to see it. Some people don't care to see it, homie. But all love, homie. Moises Carrera, you guys keep up the great work. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Member for four months, blue collar. Moises, that's what it's about, man. Help me. Thank you guys, man. What's up, Brady? Tommy, que se la vida, wey. What's up, Gil Tapney from Nampa, Idaho? Saludos. When is he coming through? Tomorrow. Uh, that's why I'm doing this thing off my phone. I got all the equipment over there, which you guys don't see during uh, during the live. That's that's how I set up my uh, my interview stuff. So I got all that stuff set up over there. That's why I'm off the phone, homie. So tomorrow, formerly known as Sir Dino, David Rocha will be in the building. So, uh, you know, invite E-Zone. You know what? I, I will invite those guys, man, for, for real. We... We uh we chopped it up that day and I told him I would invite him. I definitely will. Joaquin Guzman, just subscribe. Hey, I appreciate that, my man. Dope setup. Thank you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna invite those guys through. We'll smoke some bud, do our thing. Uh I appreciate you, homie, 100 percent Brown Excellence. You know what it is, Long Beach. Up in Strong Beach. So he'll he'll come through tomorrow. We'll do our thing. I've got a lot of guys on the on the books that wanna come through, guys and, and women that are Great fits for the show. So we'll be having some discipline in. <clears throat> so all things considered, are you still shutting down if you don't hit the 100K followers or going to eat your words, Carnalito? Honest question. I don't eat my words, homie. I mean, if I screw up or something, yeah, I'll eat my words and I'll apologize, right? Hey, Ray to Tommy. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that $20 super chat. Rasa supporting Rasa. Um, let, me, let me get back to your question. Yeah, I know you just saw that um, I did an interview with uh, LA Times and Paul asked me about that 100,000 followers, right? And no, I'm saying true to my I'm saying true to my word, Carnal. I've been doing this for it'll be five years then, and what people and because I said I'm gonna leave if I don't get a hundred thousand followers, and, and some people want to get offended by that. And I'm not saying it from one day to the next. I'm giving it a year. I'm saying this is the goal that I'm trying to hit. And if it doesn't happen, then I will gracefully bow out of YouTube and say have a nice life because. Again, people, I don't do this for the money. Does it, people? Does it look like I, I do this for the money? I'm not a guy who just came out of prison after doing ten years, twenty years, or been in and out and uh, and barely getting my life together now. And I'm on YouTube trying to you know razzle dazzle you and tell you that I love you and give me some money, homie. Where vatos sit there and brag about, and some do, some don't, about doing twenty years. I brag about I've been doing my highlight for twenty two years. I've been putting in work out here in the streets, taking care of my family for twenty two years. So this YouTube thing. Isn't for me to make money. I mean, this YouTube thing is for me to actually make a platform for us, by us, to talk about issues that pertain to us. And when I say that, I'm not talking about issues about the pinta or the calles. But nah, I mean, if we want to talk about peace, stuff like that, yes. But other than that, no, carnal. So, no, I will not eat my words. I am staying true to true my word. It is what it is, carnal. It's no disrespect to nobody, but it's just being straightforward. And that's one thing that I've always been since day one. I've been straightforward. And only the... People who followed me from the very, very beginning will know this. When I first started YouTube, there wasn't many people on YouTube at all, right? And I even said then to the followers, and I think I had maybe maybe like 100 followers, right? Subscriptions, let's say. And I said, I started, I want to say, in October. And I said to my to the subscribers, I said, listen, guys, if I don't hit up, if I don't break a thousand subscriptions by June of that next year, which is about six months in, I gave myself six months to break a thousand. And nowadays, some people will think uh, that isn't much. But because why? Because now you have all these channels out there that, you know, are somehow some way, let's say, kind of gang related or cholo type style. Right. But back then there was none of that. So I told myself, if I don't break that thousand, I'm gone. I because this brings a lot of unwanted drama stress uh attention that i usually don't do I, I didn't do social media before this is uh this four years that i've been doing this is the first time i've ever had social media i've i've lived a nice quiet life before this and i think i will go back to that nice quiet life and so so and i think the ones who who don't understand them or anything are the people that hate on you and they want to sit there and talk shit but it was like if you really don't care then why even why even give me that comment why even go on the algorithm why because in reality you're probably gonna miss me homeboy and it, you know it is what it is kind of so hopefully that answers your question homeboy. Uh, uh, uh. paul what's going on mr partido uh, no, it's ours. moises carrera thanks for being you hey man i appreciate that super chat my man that's what's up man mm -mm. From Lexit together, 
to create a bill to protect our schools with metal detectors, armed security? Yeah, I would, homeboy. I, like people, people want to sit here and not and not uh, work with other people because of different political views. But there's a lot of stuff that I don't care as long as we're out on the same page on that political issue. I'm down to help out, absolutely, man. Mm -mm. So David is going live tomorrow. Yes, he's gonna be live here in studio, carnal. I want to see what the haters say about that. There's always a reason. There's always a reason. I'm bringing him in here for the money. I'm bringing him in for something. Ah, shit. YouTube algorithm is not helping push the channel. I always hit the like. That's right, Paul. No, this it's it's moving, brother. It's moving. Uh, it's moving slowly but surely. If it was a stock, it's better than the stocks now. It's definitely moving, man. Twenty dollars Monday. Let's support Big Hill. Twenty dollars super chat. Hey, ready to talk me? I appreciate that, my man. It's all about progress. Wasn't uh, Rocha just on Tony A's yesterday? Yes, he's out here doing his rounds, man. Uh, the guy lives up north, so he's coming down here. I think he's doing something with uh, with Paul from LA Times right now. Uh, and tomorrow he's gonna be in here. But you know, I'm gonna. I've never really caught his whole story. To be completely honest with you, I did catch this last one with Tony A. But I wanna, I wanna ask him, you know, some certain questions that I, I believe. Um, Many people haven't asked them that I'm just, I'm curious to know. So it'll be dope. Mr. Matthew Edwards. Hey, man, I appreciate that $5 super chat. But, man, that's a uh, $5 Mondays, man. It works for me. <laughs> David Worcester Dino. Checking in. What's up, Gil? You know, nothing but a thing. Flaco just here chilling, huh, boy? Uh, A1A, click a hits. What's up, my boy? Aquí mero, carnal. On a Monday. I actually, I actually had a nightmare yesterday, man. Let me, let me give you guys a little nightmare thing before I take off, right? So anybody who works any kind of construction or just works in general, right? We will, every once in a while you have dreams about work, right? So last night or this morning, right? I had a dream. I had a dream something was going on at work that wasn't working out, that something got kind of messed up. But then I was like, it was and in the dream time, it was Thursday around like two o'clock. We usually leave work at three, right? So I'm like, ah, fuck it. Tomorrow's Friday. I got the weekend to think it over. I'll figure out what we got to do. And then about... Five minutes after that dream, I wake up and I, damn, it's Monday. So, <laughs> so I, I went from thinking it was Thursday and it was Monday. So that was my nightmare for the day, homeboy. I don't know if that makes you laugh. That made, that made, that made my day. I was like, Jesus. Mm -mm. Yeah, exactly, Carlos. My stock is still going up. Every time I look at the channel, there's always new subscribers. I'm getting a lot of love on, um, on IG. Uh, right now, some guy just hit me up. He's like, hey, man, where the hell has this podcast been? Man, I just caught your interview with uh, Beaver. I just caught your interview with Any Means. I'm binge watching your stuff. And there's all kind of guys I, I get that a lot from, especially on Instagram. So listen, the combination of the platforms, this thing is growing. I am not, I say what I say because I'm confident in what I do. And that's just what I am. That's the kind of person that I am. I am a confident person. But people want to take it for arrogance. People want to take it for attitude. They can take it for whatever they want. This is just a small bit of who I am on air. When you go out there to these events and you talk to me, man, like I said, nothing but love from all the Rasa out there, homeboy. Because unlike people that are just on this thing uh, talking about they love you and they want to be your friends, homie, I'm out there. I'm out there making my rounds with people so I can sit here and get to know people and they can, know, they can get to know me and we can have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. Because too many people just want to get a small bit of what you're doing and think that, uh, that, that this is who you are. Nah, man, come on. Mm -mm. We discussed the event. Um, I thought it was still up, but I'm not sure. Maybe I maybe I took it down and put it to my members only uh, unadapted. I'm not religious, but if it was David, seems like a good guy to get words from. You can tell he's been there and done that, but also doesn't judge. Absolutely. And that's kind of what I want to talk to. I want to talk about the not judging part. I mean, it's not that I judge. It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's it, that, that, we'll get into that conversation tomorrow. OG Rocha, que dices, carnal? How's that truck driving going? Kilo Gil's always enjoying your show. Enjoy the cruise. That's what's up. Gil, would you quit if you had 95 or 97,000 subs? Listen, if I got into the 90,000 realm with the followers, I think there, that, that'd that be definitely a foolish thing to sit there and just say no. It's almost like, um, like a business deal when you're getting a loan and let's say you get a big loan for some kind of company you're building and there's always expectations after a certain time, especially certain kind of loans, right? And if you go in there and you tell the, the bank or whatever it is, which the bank is, you know, myself and my wife, man. Listen, we got 90 something thousand. Then of course you're going to sit there and, and and think about that. You know, I'd be it'd be foolish for me to sit there and just say no, no, no. That'd be foolish, man. But hope that answers your question, man. Mm -mm. Yeah, well, back. Let me see. Bentley, Gil, I got in your case uh hard a while back about working union non-union. I just want to tell you that I got 
Mad love for you, bro, and your political views. Keep up the hard work and hope you get. Thank you, my man. I appreciate that, homeboy. Uh, Salud, Gil. How you doing, bro? OG Steve from the Bronx, man. North Bronx, Allerton in the house. Allerton in the house. That's right, man. OG Steve always showing that love, man. I appreciate that, Steve. Oh, man. The Bronx. I, mean, I got to go to the Bronx. Anytime I want to go over there, I want to go to the Bronx. I heard New York's full of rats on me. And, I mean, both kind, I guess, huh? <laughs> uh, Twitch bans you for There's a lot of stuff that bans you for everything. Uh, uh, I already got a strike on... Uh, I got a strike on... Uh, what's the name on? Uh, TikTok, homie, for putting that that funny fight thing of uh, you on there. I don't know. I mean, I got, a, I got like two strikes on Instagram already, so I got to be real careful over there. Uh, uh, uh. George 1960 Collection Music, my hobby, my enjoyment. Man, that's a long name. I would do everything with my business dealing to get you as many subscribers as possible. We need you and your channel, man. I appreciate that, George. And that's also kind of why I do, why I do and say what I do, man. Because what happens with us as Rasa is we get conformed, we get content with what we're doing. And unless we're called down, we won't really do it, dude. We're just like, well, we're just, eh, listen, America Troll is doing this thing, eh, it's cool, and this and that, but it won't get pushed, and I'm not that kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy that, you know, I, I like to get stuff going and, and push it, man, and hopefully you guys will help, and, you know, I, I definitely know a lot of you guys, I appreciate that. Mm -mm. Uh. Gil, if you hit 60 or 55 followers, you need to keep it up. Listen, Collectively, I already got that, brother. Collectively, on my on my things, and that's what a lot of people don't get. Collectively, man. Collectively, I already got that, man. Collectively, we're about seventy five in, humble believe it or not. So it's really not that much more, man. People, people will figure it out. Uh, Anthony Gill, you're the man. Keep pushing the way of righteous. That's what's up, man. Phoenix, Arizona, and the house hot over there, man. My nephew just came over uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, and drove back. Shout out to my nephew Chris and Junior. Eligible also, really, hey, man, I appreciate you, my man. AC, I just got back from Salsas and Beer, and my, and my go-to Carnalito Zacatecas went from $13.99. Oh, shit, is that right? Yeah, you know what, dude? Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Oh, man, Mr. look, you guys are coming out with the love today, man. Mr. Moises C, super effective, $50 super sicker, man. That's what's up, brother. I appreciate you, man. That's love. So let's talk about that real quick. I saw, okay, so like I said, I think we were talking about this on the last live, right? Stock market's starting to crash. Um, housing market has slowed down beyond any anything that we, we have seen in a long time. We are now in a bear market. We need to slowing down. Inflation is going through the roof. Um, what's going to happen is food is going to go through the roof. I saw this lady's TikTok and it made perfect sense to me. She said... She goes into her car. She 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 shows us a, a bale of hay, right? Uh, she also shows us some feed for her goats, some feed for her her animals, and she says, "Listen, this used to cost me roughly around twenty four to thirty four dollars. Okay, this feeds my I guess cats or whatnot, you know, the small cows for two days, all right?" She goes, "Now I go into these places to buy this feed." It's costing me over $100. So it's costing her three times the amount for this food, right? She says, she continues to go on and say, and this makes perfect sense. She goes, listen to me. I work in this industry. It's costing me three times the amount to feed my animals. You're not feeling the price until they go to slaughter. So when they go to slaughter is when you're going to feel the price. Because they said, by the time September, October kicks in, these animals are going to be bigger. They're going to go to slaughter. Then you're going to feel the price. She is... Uh, saying that it may go up to $17, oh no, was it? Yeah, $17 for a chicken and about $34 for a pound of meat. And that's insane, but that is where we're heading. We're heading to $17 chicken before you get a whole chicken for like five bucks, homie. Oh, that didn't happen no more. Uh, getting carne asada is lifestyles of the rich and famous. Carnal, you got to be balling out to buy ranchera. That meat is just very expensive. You go out there and get tacos. It's very expensive. So like I said before, people, save your money. Prepare for the rainy day that is ahead of us. There's a storm ahead of us. Prepare, save your money. Don't go out there and blowing your money thinking it's not going to happen. Don't go out there thinking that the, that the government is going to bail you out because they absolutely are not. Oh, boy. Moises, you're the man, G. Yes, he is, man. Gil, what's the update on the racist Armenian? I didn't have time to upload the video. The racist Armenian out here in North Hollywood, he's the guy in the gym. Uh, he has, the gym has been shut down for good. I don't know if that was already shut down before or not. 
But out here in North Hollywood, his gym is shut down completely. He tried to make a, some fake apology and say he was going to give $10,000 to some uh, some uh, Mexican-American or, or Latin kind of organization, you know. But the great thing that came out of that is you see how the community, you guys on YouTube don't see it as much. Uh, people on Instagram and TikTok see it more. There is, there's, there's a much closer community on Instagram than there is on YouTube because YouTube mostly is just content creators and doing whatever they do, right? But um, on Instagram, there's more people that come together once one, once one like bad thing happens to one of us, boom, it starts going. It starts... Uh, Enamorado starts posting it. Hood Santa starts posting it. Uh, Jimmy Humilde starts posting it. Heck, even now, uh, Fools Gone Wild starts posting it. Bozo starts posting it. All these guys that have influence start posting it. And then what? Then they go, and like they did with the Tamal guy. They went out there in front of the guy's house. I don't know if you guys heard it on YouTube either. They went out there last Saturday and, and, and showed face, man. Hundreds of people in front of this racist guy's house. The same thing with this guy with the gym, man. Everybody went out there, started talking shit to the guy, and... Now he's running for the for the hills, and, and that's what we need to do. We need to come together. We need to call people out. We need to sit there and make noise, people, and that's what we're trying to do, man. Mm -mm. Uh, smash that like button. Don't be a left. Yeah, if you, you're a left, homie, if you don't smash that like button. <laughs> All right, here we go. Carlos, I work in the food delivery service, and these restaurants are hurting. Make sure to support your local. Yeah, but that's the thing, man. It's, um, it's getting to a point where people can't afford to go out and eat it's really becoming a a privilege to go out there and eat because fuel is so expensive especially if you're living like let's say i'm out of here in North hollywood for anybody who knows the area if you're living out in palm there or lancaster that became a bill now before gas was just gas right you before gas was i don't know maybe 50 bucks a week or whatnot let's say you know a few years back now you're talking about uh, for guys who drive that far, you're talking about 150 bucks, 200 bucks a week, man. That turns out to 800 bucks a month, and people can't afford that. So if you're paying that much gas, it's hard to go out there and eat and all that stuff, man. Mess one bean, you get the full burrito. That's right, V areas 9.99 super chat. That's right, my man, Rasa supporting Rasa. That's what it's about. It's about, and that was another thing with the Long Beach Carlos event, which was beautiful, man. We were there having a good time. It was a bunch of people, a bunch of vendors, Rasa. Homie from Polly's Projects, got the pin. And what was a beautiful thing, and I was telling my wife, man, this is what it's about right here. Look at this. We're out here. There's low riders, there's bikes, there's music. It's all Rasa. We're purchasing stuff from Rasa. I'm giving stuff to Rasa. I'm selling. So we're pretty much leaving the money in our community. We're keeping the money in our community. We're bankrolling our own community. And at the same time, we're enjoying our community. So if we can do that in this scale right now, which is, let's say, 200 people or whatnot, right? 300 people at the event, and we go bigger, 400, 500, then you go 1,000, then eventually if we could make this thing where we're literally supporting our, our, our people as much as other people support theirs, Dude, we'd be so much better off, but it's, it's it needs to it needs to start with us going to these events, supporting these events, and and losing that fear of going to a lot of these events. Unfortunately, too many people believe that uh that it's dangerous, that's gang related. Yeah, we're cholos, homie, but you know what? We ain't on that tip no more. If you 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 kind of know what event you're gonna go to, and it's gonna be that kind of event, right? Like uh, if you're going to a young place where guys are in their twenties and just thirties, some hip hop, yes, some shit can go down. But if you're going to an event that's being thrown who, with homies that are forty years old and up, that's eh, all family oriented. I couldn't tell you how many different guys from different neighborhoods were over there because why? Because I wasn't going around saying, hey, "Homie, we from," or they weren't going around telling me, "Homie, hey, we from." No, wasn't that kind of event, man? None of these events that I've been to have been that kind of event. All these events have been positive, have been uplifting to our community, have put money back into our community, and it's, you know, helping helping roll get this ball rolling, carnal. Uh -uh. If the racer are meeting donates 10000 to BOD Bank of Daniel, then we should give him a second chance. <laughs> yeah, send me send me the routing number, fucking Daniel. This is vato. <laughs> uh, I think a good topic to discuss would be Pacoima Whiteman Airport infrastructure or the multi crash the city council approved legislation that closed six months ago and nothing has been done. Yeah, because some people there got money, man. That place has had a lot of crashes. Carnal. Support between Ross is a beautiful thing, pretty much. What's up, Big Gil? Unhouse Mike in the house. DC, nah. Nah, DC wants that money, car. Nah, DC wants that money. So check this out. I'm gonna go watch a go watch a Netflix a movie real quick. I just came in here 
Say thank, uh, say what's up with you guys. I want to thank all you guys who donated, made that super chat, especially that fifty dollar one. Actually, all of them, and I, 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 uh, I appreciate that. But it's about us communicating, having this, uh, having this platform. That's what we're trying to do. But tomorrow, formerly known as Sir Dino from up north, former Norteño, will be in the building. We'll be sitting right here next to me and Boo Boo. We're gonna sit here and uh. Have a good conversation. Ask him some questions that I'm sure he's never been asked before uh, about certain stuff. And uh, you guys tune in. If you guys want any questions asked, leave a comment down here. Let me know. Other than that, players, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, players. A rato.